I have a dream, a fantasy. I believe in angels, something good in everything I see. I believe in angels, and when the time is right for me, I'll cross the stream. I have a dream. Hi there. I am Peter Pocklington. I am a mindset mentor. I am a business builder. And I am a crusader for the financial freedom of families. And I am living my dream. We all are. Why? Because what we think about, we bring about. What we focus on, magnifies. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. I've learned these things from living mentors, such as the great Joe Schroeder, from books such as Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, and from the man who walked the stony hills of Galilee with his twelve entrepreneurial buddies and was known as Rabbi, Teacher. And now that I know that, let my life give testimony to that. In my youth, I carried with me a picture of Natalie Wood from the movie This Property is Condemned. On my daughter's 30th birthday, I was sitting on one side of the room and looking across at the montage, saw a picture of somebody who was so beautiful and looked like Natalie Wood. Putting on my spectacles, I walked across the room, and lo and behold, it was a picture of me with my wife. Wow. It had never come to me, but my marriage was living my dream. On February 6, 1958, a team of young boys, the Flowers of Manchester, the Busby Babes, perished in a plane crash in Munich, Germany. When I was growing up, we played soccer, and I always said, I'll be Bobby Charlton. One day I met Bobby Charlton. Bobby Charlton is an ambassador for Manchester United Football Club. I now live in the United States of America, and before soccer became the mass popular sport it is now, felt myself to be an ambassador for soccer. And now, I try and convert people to be Manchester United followers. So, as an ambassador for Manchester United, I am Bobby Charlton. So last but not least, my father. When my father died, I learned the power of the resurrection. It took a while for the disease to take him to his proper home, to take his crown that he earned so hard. But after dying, it was impossible for me to see his physical body again. He was reincarnated in my memory as the young, happy fellow, full of a zest for life. We are all granted the gift of the resurrection from the seeds that are sown out in us through the genetic material that is our parent. And so I look back on my life, the leaders I have followed and the leaders I have learned from. One day I left England, the England that I loved, to follow the leadership of Professor Peter Reichert and Professor Friedrich Wingert who were embarked on a new venture to bring computer science and medicine together. Ten years later I left Germany to follow Fred Moorfield, who was taking SMS, the company that I joined, international, and needed a guy to help out. And now I find myself blessed with leaders, Joe Schroeder, 
Diane Hoffman, John Lavin. Three people who are keen to where my dreams are taking me now. On August 8, 2005, after inviting into the boardroom of my mind many mentors, I awoke and M7 Enterprises was born. M to the power of seven. Empower seven. My mission was to increase the health, wealth and wealth health of the communities I serve. It had been born in a dream. It was to be the rest of my life. My father had always taught, Peter, if there's anything left over when I die, I just died too soon. My mother had always taught, always ask whether this pill is to cure or to mask. If it's to mask, I don't want it because my body is teaching me something I have to listen to. By increasing the wealth, health and health wealth of the communities I serve, I could honor my father and my mother as we are taught. And so I fast forward to associations that I have had with the Million Mind March, with the Home and Small Business Network, and with Primerica. And the leaders I have been exposed to, Joe Schroeder, Diane Hockman, John Lavin, and I am blessed. Dream is now embodied in a concept known as Freedom Nation United. People don't want money. They want the freedom that they perceive to come through money. Many who have a lot of money lack time. They want the time that they perceive come through business success. And many who have a business lack the mindset and disciplines it takes for success. Time freedom plus money freedom plus mind freedom gives you the ability to maximize your potential in you. So my dream is embodied in the affirmation that I say daily that my prosperity prospers 10,000 people their prosperity prospers me. I am the energetic, excited and enthusiastic leader of a team of people dedicated to improving the lives of at least a hundred families each month and we are well rewarded for our efforts. I run an extremely profitable business built on the bedrock of financial services distribution, marketing mastery and mastery of the mind. I deserve the money I receive weekly as a result of my own efforts and those of the people I have led and inspired. I am recognized as a fellow leader in my chosen partner organizations and I have grown as a person emotionally, mentally and spiritually through the experience of helping others. I am well on the road to my personal financial freedom. My prosperity prospers 10,000 people and their prosperity prospers with me. So in closing, I want to finish with words of wisdom from my mother, who once told me, spend your life creating memories, the key word here being creating. So to anyone who watches this I say, invest your life creating memories. You will live off the interest of your memories that you create forever. Thank you. And to anybody who's watching this, they're your dreams. Live them. <laughs>